Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at how to use a controller on Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition, this is version 1.18.2 and this is on PC. So we're going to take a look at how to play a Minecraft Java Edition using a controller and I am using a Xbox One controller in my game right now. If I press F3 on my keyboard you guys can see on the top left there it does say Minecraft version 1.18.2. I am using the quilt mod loader. This is the version 0.16.0 beta 16, but this actually works with fabric as well. So you have an option. You can use fabric or you can use the quilt mod loader. It's completely up to you guys, whichever one you prefer, but you are going to be able to use a controller in your Minecraft game. So if you guys have been wondering how to play Minecraft Java Edition on my PC using a Xbox One controller, for example, or any type of other controller on your PC, then and this is going to help you out and we are going to use a mod to do this we are going to use a mod which allows us to play our minecraft java game using a controller if i go into my game menu you guys can see i do have a mods button here this is thanks to the mod menu mod which i have got and installed and this works on the quilt mod loader and obviously the fabric mod loader as well so the mod which we are going to use today to allow us to be able to use a controller on our minecraft java game on version 1.18.2 is called Midnight Controls. Now as you guys can see from the description it says adds controller support and enhanced controls overall forked from Lambda Controls which sadly got discontinued. So the mod author Lambda Aurora actually made a Lambda Controls mod which basically did the same thing however that got discontinued and this author who is known as Mods Chen has actually taken over this project and is going to continue the support for this mod which is really cool and if I go back into my game menu and then if I click on options and if we go to controls there is a new button here that says controller options and if I click into this you guys can see that I do have a mode here which says controller and I can change various things like the rotation speed and the mouse speed. The rotation speed basically it says the camera rotation speed in the controller mode and the mouse speed as you guys can see it says the controller's emulated mouse speed. So if you guys are finding your controller is moving too fast you can move these sliders down. I did have to tone down some of these sliders to actually make my controller less sensitive. If we go to the gameplay options, you do have several different options here which you can enable and disable. If we take a look at the appearance, you can choose your controller type over here. So if I click into this, we do have various options here. So we've got the Steam Deck, we've got the Steam Controller, the Ouya Controller, Default, DualShock, DualSense, Switch, Xbox 360 and the Xbox type controller as well which I'm using right now. We can also select the skin so I have gone for the default dark over here but you can also choose different skin types over here as well and you can disable or enable the HUD options and you can choose which side you want it on whether you want it on the left side or on the right hand side. If I go into the controller options you can go ahead and configure the different controller options from here as well so you guys can change your different buttons on this section as well and again we do have another section here which says controller options and in this option basically we can fine-tune our X and Y values on our controller so if you guys do want to fine-tune your controller to your liking you can go ahead and do that and finally we do have another option here which says mappings file editor so after you guys have installed this mod do you make sure that your controller is plugged in so my Xbox one controller is plugged into the USB ports on my PC and after I have installed this mod I am able to basically use my controller inside my game. If I go inside my game right now as you guys can see I'm actually moving my character with the controller and it's really cool it does actually tell you on the bottom left what the keys do so you can see it says drop item. If I press the B button on my controller as you guys can see I've just dropped my sword over here and I've picked it up. If I press Y on my controller I can actually go into the inventory here and I can actually move around with the left analog stick as you guys can see it is obviously moving my mouse cursor around that is because I am playing on the PC but I am doing this with my left analog stick as you guys can see over here if I go back I can press the X button on my controller and that is going to swap my hands we also have the use buttons on the bottom right which are showing so if you guys can see it says use left trigger so if I press the left trigger it's going to use my shield and if I press the right trigger it's going to swing my sword like so and I can 
also use the top buttons there to scroll through my hotbar as you guys can see. So you can go ahead and select your different items. If you guys have played Minecraft on a PS4 or an Xbox in the past, then you will be used to these controls. They're not too different of using a console version of the Minecraft game. If you guys do want to use an item, you can obviously just scroll through your hotbar and then let's say for example I want to use and eat this cooked rabbit. I can do that by pressing the left trigger which is basically going to eat my food like so. Now we can go ahead and place some blocks by using the left trigger. If you guys do want a bridge then you can also do this by pressing into the right analog button and then using the default key to place blocks like so and it's quite simple you do need to get used to it but obviously you can do that as well and you can also jump and place blocks as well. I have done a previous video on how to go ahead and download and install the Quilt Mod Loader on our Minecraft Java game on version 1.18.2. So do make sure that you guys have watched that video. It is going to help you out on how to set everything up using the Quilt Mod Loader. I have also done another video on how to download and install the Fabric Mod Loader and how to download mods on the Fabric Mod Loader as well. I am going to leave links to those videos in the description so you guys can watch those videos and set everything up. And I am also going to leave a link in the description on where you guys can go ahead and download this mod from and then just place it in your mods folder just connect your controller to your minecraft game and then you will be able to use a controller on the minecraft java game on pc and you can do this on the latest version which is currently version 1.18.2 hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have been wondering till now how do i use a controller for minecraft java edition on PC and how do I get my Minecraft Java game to work with a controller for example a Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller then this video hopefully should help you guys out if you obviously have any queries or questions about how to use a controller with Minecraft Java edition on PC on version 1.18.2 or any other version then do leave them in the comment section below I will do my best to try and help you guys out please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching.